Hi, Casey Hibbard here from Rebuilding My Health. I just wanted to come on for a few minutes to talk about my personal experience with Matula T for the digestive infection H. pylori. So first of all, let's quickly kind of cover what H. pylori is. It's an infection of the stomach lining that can lead to ulcers, heart burn, burping, and other digestive issues. In rare cases, it can even result in stomach cancer. It's actually estimated that approximately half the world's population has H. pylori, but some folks may not have symptoms or they may not connect their symptom, symptoms like heartburn with H. pylori. So I suspected I might have it because my mom had it and it's really easy to pass along through sharing you know, food and drink, et cetera. And I, the symptoms that I had were not necessarily the ones that are always associated with H. pylori. I had some candida overgrowth. Um, I did have some stomach pain. I had low stomach acid and I had a previous history of SIBO or small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And um, some of the more typical symptoms are the stomach pain or burning, um, nausea, loss of appetite, frequent burping or bloating. So I was working for a time with a, a digestive health coach, Angela Priven of Do It Yourself Health. Um, she's been um, fantastic for helping me work through some gut infections and dysbiosis. And she explained the relationship between stomach acid and H. pylori, um, emphasizing the importance of adequate stomach levels for pathogen control. And if you have H. pylori, you can have lower stomach acid and you need that stomach acid to control pathogens. So I also learned that the conventional medical treatment out there for H. pylori, the triple antibiotic therapy, um, it's two antibiotics plus a proton pump inhibitor. And um, that approach, it's becoming harder to treat um, because the bacteria H. pylori is becoming more resistant to antibiotics. Uh, and while the protocol does work in eliminating H. pylori for some, it comes with some drawbacks. Antibiotics disrupt the microbiome by killing beneficial bacteria, which we certainly don't want to do. The proton pump inhibitor, or PPI, also decreases stomach acid, which is believed to worsen H. pylori. So this might explain why it's really common for H pylori to return after the triple antibiotic treatment uh, because there's not enough stomach acid to stop it. So for me to test for H. pylori, Angela had me take a stool test, which showed I, in fact, did have H. pylori. And then she helped me with a natural protocol that included several different things. So number one was Matula tea. It is a tea that is sourced from South Africa and only available from one place, um, from perfectly natural teas. And it's known for its potency against H. pylori. And independent lab testing revealed some interesting results. Participants that consume two cups of Matula tea daily for 30 days, um, you know, the ultimate finding was that it was 93% effective in eradicating H. pylori, which is really pretty impressive for drinking just two cups of tea a day. Um, so the recommendation from the, the maker of Matula tea is a 30-day course of treatment using 60 tea bags. You get a fresh tea bag in the morning and a fresh one at night. Um, my health coach had advised me at the time that I could reuse the same bag a second time. So um, after brewing in the morning, I would keep that bag in the fridge and reuse it again in the evening. So I drank it twice a day on an empty stomach right when I woke up and then right before bed. And honestly, I, I really enjoyed the tea. It was um, just tasted good. It was mild, kind of like chamomile a little bit. So at the same time, Angela was having me do a couple of other things. I was taking mastic gum capsules and also NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine, which is a biofilm buster and also DGL to soothe and protect my stomach lining. She also really suggested some important dietary guidelines. So for 60 days while I was doing the protocol, I avoided gluten and sugar, 
and alcohol and coffee. I know, like all the good stuff. Um, but these can really exacerbate H. pylori and other di digestive issues. So fortunately, I was I was already gluten free and pretty much sugar free with with alcohol and coffee only. Um, rarely, like something that I would have. So. Uh, I diligently followed the protocol for two months and really honestly didn't have any side effects from any of the stuff that I was doing. Uh, the longer I did the protocol, the better I felt. My chronic candida symptoms, including a white coated tongue, itchy skin, and a bad taste in my mouth disappeared completely. And most surprisingly, when I was done with the protocol, um, longstanding fatigue that I had really improved dramatically. It was kind of just this like heavy weight that had been, you know, kind of <laughs> pressing down, uh, just, you know, kind of overwhelming for a while. And that, that really improved. So then I did a follow-up test a few months later in my doctor's office and a breath test confirmed that H. pylori was no longer detectable in my system. And um, the breath test was covered by insurance. That's why I did that type. And since then, I've done some other stool tests that have showed no presence of H. pylori. So to prevent H. pylori from returning, I continue to avoid gluten and sugar. And on the rare occasions that I drink coffee or alcohol, I take um, DGL to coat, my, coat and protect my stomach like 15 or 20 minutes before. And I also turn to Matula tea if I start to feel like I'm beginning to get candida symptoms, like um, a white coating on my tongue or a weird taste in my mouth. And uh, that consistently helps alleviate those symptoms. So I, I want to mention at the time I did the protocol, I took both Mastic Gum and Matula tea, and that worked for me. However, the Matula tea website reportedly now recommends, and I did confirm this, that you don't take both at the same time because it may affect the effectiveness of the tea. So given my experience, I do recommend Matula tea to help eliminate H. pylori and candida when part of a comprehensive treatment protocol. Um, it's really gentle yet seemingly really powerful. You can only buy it directly from the maker in South Africa and you can find the link for that in the description for this video. And just as a reminder, we're all different and what works for one person may not for another. Uh, as always, consult with a healthcare professional or a gut health coach to determine the best course of action for your specific situation. Thanks so much for watching and you can get similar videos and also lots of health success stories by subscribing to Rebuilding My Health.